into the magic with me. Step into the magic with me. The virtuous man restrains his passions. The saint attacks the enemy of truth in its stronghold within his own heart and restrains all selfish and impure thoughts, while the holy man is he who is free from passion and all impure thought, and to whom goodness and purity have become as natural as scent and color are to the flower. The holy man is divinely wise. He alone knows truth in its fullness and has entered into abiding rest and peace. For him evil has ceased. It has disappeared in the universal light of the all good. Holiness is the badge of wisdom. Hey, what's up? Yeah, we're here at the Trinity River. And um, I'm not sure what it is you want to talk about right now. But uh, what's going on for you right now? The water's cold. Um, I did drive through some of, through Redding by Whiskey Town Lake and there's like all the fires that have been in Redding. And it's pretty amazing to see on the side of the, just driving by even, seeing some houses that completely burned down. There's nothing left but some of the metal and pipes and, and um, some things that survived. But the walls are gone. It's just a little bit of rubble. And for one, it made me feel just a sense of compassion for all the people that have lost their homes. And what I've been listening to with the James Allen, I've been listening to James Allen for a while now. Bracing thoughts of strength, of confidence, of duty, inspiring thoughts of a large, free, unfettered, and unselfish life are useful bricks with which a substantial mind temple can be raised, and the building of such a temple necessitates that old and useless habits of thought be broken down and destroyed. Build thee more stately mansions, O my soul, as the swift seasons roll. Um, in just talking about getting free of the obsession with the temporal items, even be it our family and friends, uh, but our stuff, and how to live in a deeper essence where, where I'm, my peace is not attached to what I have or who's around me, but it's that internal peace that if you just be quiet for a second here and listen. It's the peace that we hear in nature, you know, in the sound of the water flowing. And so that's truly what I've been trying to dance with more is flowing, being selfless, and catching where I'm letting my peace and my peace of mind be affected by the things around me, by what other people say, by what I think other people are thinking about me, <laughs> what, um, what I have, what I don't have, what I lose, what I give, what I gain. So I invite you just to think about that a little bit more and think about it doesn't mean, it means honoring what we have in a different way and it's, it, that's what I'm playing with. In a sense, really feeling the essence of it. With your, If you're with your child or your loved one, really feeling the essence of what they're about and what wants to happen right now. Like if you're pl playing or whatever's happening. Um, you're in a tree right now, so the wind is blowing you around. If you're wondering why, I'm making sure the camera doesn't fall out of the tree or the bush. So, so thinking about that, thinking about the uh, essence of each item we have, you know, even if it's a table, and thinking about all the people that made it, thinking about the food and the, and the farmers, and 
and just appreciating that energy that's being transferred and moved around. So if you think about, about it, everything really is a lot of energy and it's a spirit of energy. Don't fall, don't fall. It's a spirit of, of it's the spirit, it's the energy that's in everything. You know, in the, in the cabinetry maker, in the factory that made it, in the farmer, in the soil, in the earth, in, in that moment in time with our loved one or our child or our friend and listening and truly being with the, being present with them as you are right now being present with me. And that's that quietness that in a sense rules everything. That peace of mind, it's that peace that's flowing through everything, it's, that is life. And the thing that's not peace is just any time I'm taking that exact pure energy and I'm perverting it. So how can I clear my mind and my body and my being more and more to be a clear vessel for the energy of the universe that's moving through me? And how can I focus in, really focus my mind, my thoughts, my words, and my actions, and my habits and my deeds on the best for me and the best for everyone in this world? And kind of, a, it's, a, it's in a selfless way, but I'm honoring the to the aspirations of my heart. So honor those aspirations, those dreams of your heart, and make those happen. Those are actually not selfish. So, so peace, you good? All right, we'll keep the presence up, and I'll see you again. Uh, get some shots of the river for you. Here we go, you're out of the tree, that's where you were. You were right there. So, there you go. See that? Trinity River. I was just jumping in there. It's cold. So, peace be you. Bye.